Hello guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Place Anywhere for Fallout 4. So if you guys are anything like me, and you're trying to install Place Anywhere, uh, you might be having a little bit trouble, even though I am a little bit retarded. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install this pretty, in some simple terms, uh, so it's easier and you don't have to go through the trouble that I did. So firstly, you guys are going to want to have uh, Nexus Mod Manager installed. It's pretty simple to install, but I will make a tutorial on that just in case you guys need to know how. But we minimize that for a second here. Then in the link in the description, you guys are going to want to find Nexus Mod Manager. Well, a link to the Nexus Mod Manager website. And this will take you to the Place Anywhere uh, little thing here. So down here, next to description and articles, click Files. Give it a second to load. And then click Download with Manager. And then click continue with my download. And then continue with my download again. And it'll redirect you back onto your mod manager. And give that a second to load. And if you guys aren't here, uh, if you're on plugins, just click back on mods. And then once you're here, click the place everywhere. And then click the check mark to activate it. Uh, but that's not all you have to do. You guys have to install the phases or fases little launcher too, so you guys can actually launch the mod. So with the second link in the description, you guys are gonna find a link to this website here. Uh, it's a pretty basic website. All you have to do is click installer, click keep, and then run the .exe, uh, and then it might pop up with this. Uh, well, the first time I ran this, it didn't pop up with this. Just click run anyway. Click yes when that pops up. Click I agree. Next. Next. Ne install. Next again. And finish. You should be done. The launcher should be on your desktop. If it's not, go into your, uh, wherever your fallout's installed or wherever. So it's usually in programs 86. Scroll down to Steam. Steam apps. Common, Fallout 4, and then it there should be a phase loader in here or fast. I'm not quite sure how to say it, but you're gonna want to run that. Give it a second here, and then it'll launch the game. And you can see, launching the game as normal, except it won't pop up with the little installer thing. Hold on, let me turn that down real quick. Except it won't pop up with like the options thing where you can change your like graphics and stuff. You're gonna have to launch the game in the normal launcher to change that. And I, I now I will show you guys this mod working. So as you can see, I'm at my little settlement here at Red Rocket. And what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and launch your workshop. And I'm just gonna place down a wooden wall. And I'm gonna turn uh, there's three simple binds here. F2 will change it so surface F is back on again like normal, but I had it off. So click F2, you can go straight through the ground, doesn't matter, you can place it wherever, up, down. Uh, F1 will turn object snap back on, uh, which was off previously for me. So I can place this down in the air, and then they'll snap together like normal. Click F1 again, they won't snap anymore, so you can place it adjacent like this. Or however you want to do it. So I'll pick this back up again. Click F1. Well, you have to remove it and then click it again. Then it'll snap. Uh, sometimes it won't activate whenever you just click it. But sometimes it will. I've, I don't know. That happens to me sometimes. It might happen to you. Uh, but it's pretty basic. It's just 1, 2, 3. F, F3 turns workshop, workshop grid on. Pretty sure that's off by default. I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah, just three simple binds. It's not that hard to use, and uh, this isn't very impressive, but you can make some pretty cool stuff with it. I'm sure you guys are probably way better at building stuff than I am. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.